Time to try it. All right, this is the box it comes in. Okay, another thing I wanted to mention is price point. <laughs> Down to the top shot, we back with another video. As you can see today, we're gonna be talking about why you should not buy this piece of shit. Let's get into it. All right, this is the box it comes in. I think they all come in a plastic box. Uh, as you can see, oh sorry. All right, Glock 19X, two 17 plus mags. That means two 17 round mags with the plus two on the bottom, which is this item right here, which gives you 19 rounds. And you see one 17 round mag. And it's a, yeah. And somebody in the comments tell me why the label is pink. Other than that, everything that comes in the box is, I don't have it with me, but it's going to be your gun. Of course, this back strap and two more back straps. This mag loader, all three mags, which I don't have. Uh, this thing, pretty sure it comes with a gun lock and some instructions and all that. All right. All right, we're about to do a little cold start. We're just about to shoot it right now. Okay, so number one, no slide serrations. I don't think it's a must, but it would have definitely been nice, especially because it's a Gen 5. Um, what else? I don't like how small the sights are. I like, but it's me personally because I, I'm used to the, the 509, the tactical version. They have suppressor high night sights, and I just got very used to those sights. And I just like those sights. The trigger, everybody knows, Glock triggers are kind of trash. Um, what else? Oh, the biggest one, it's not RMR ready. Like, it's not optic cut. I would expect that for a pistol that was supposedly entered for a military contract. <clears throat> and also, I don't like this for all Gen 5s because, you know, all Gen 5s are like this, but they don't have any grooves i like the grooves a lot of people i heard they got rid of it because a lot of people were complaining about it but me personally i wish they would have kept it uh, let's see what else um no threaded barrel i would have liked the threaded barrel all right so paris forgot the gopro so we have to use this heavy behind phone so <laughs> this is gonna be our gopro today all right, so what we're going to do first is transitioning. See how well I can transition with this gun. We're going to transition from that target, the second target, all the way to the last target. Uh, two shots on each. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh. I can't hear that target. I can't tell if I'm hitting that target. All right, we're going to change targets. We're going to do that one. And that one. Okay. The second and the fourth. Okay. All right, let's get to the gun stamp. Uh, where's my gun number? The gun stamp out. Time was 273. Target. Okay, another thing I wanted to mention is price point. This is, I bought mine for like, I think, like mid sevens. But now you can get them for like five and change. So, all depends on when you pick it up, where you pick it up from. We're going to be trying that drill one more time. Two on the second and fourth target. Alright, so now 
now we're gonna be doing uh let me see what I got in here. Yeah, like four or five in here. We're gonna be doing like uh follow-up shots. So all my shots gonna be on this center target. And I'm gonna just see how I can stack them up and how quickly. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see if we can tighten it up. All right, everybody do the same thing, but ch change targets. We're about to try this target. All right, let's see. We're going to do five. Probably should only put five in here. Oh, well, I didn't need to tell you the time for that last one. That last one, that was four shots and 1.62. I hit all. It wasn't very accurate, but I hit... Ready? Yep. All right, I'm about to compare my follow up shots with the five on nine versus the Glock. Let's go. Let's go. Five shots, three shots. Huh? What you do with the spray paint? And the 509, I missed one, but that was the time was 172. And I missed one. Right, let's try to block now. not a huge target so. so that's why i'm doing it on this target because they should at least be in that target but 509 203 was the time Right there, two right there. All right, so 509 was 203. Try to block one more time. I missed that second one. Back to the 509. So 192 with the 509 to make. Now we're just about to go back to the Glock. All right, two shots on each target. All right, so as you can see, I keep missing. And if you're missing, you know what that means? You need to slow down. You must dip on your chip. Now, don't get me wrong. I love this gun, and I love Glock as a brand, and this is probably my favorite Glock. I was just saying some things that I wish were different about this gun that would have made it perfect. I will be making those differences myself, though. I will take this in and get the front done, the top done, and I probably will throw different sights on here and probably, you know, do something about that. Yeah. So, let's shoot it some more. Thought I hit the button. Tom, three ninety one. All right, we're gonna do one last run to see if I can get a good time and actually hit all the targets. We'll hit all the shots, all six shots. Oopsie. 
Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all got the Glock 19X. What y'all don't like about it and what y'all do like about it. If y'all agree with what I said. Uh, oh, what's your favorite Glock? I think mine's is the 19X. Curry don't leave the gym till he hit a certain amount of shots. I ain't leaving the range till I hit a certain amount of shots. All right. Two shots each target, three targets, six shots total. All right, I just thought of another thing. We was over here shooting the uh, the Chris Vector mag with this, with the nineteen X. It just barely fits the Chris Vector. If you get a Chris Vector mag, you gotta jam it in there. And another thing, you have to take this out the lanyard. You have to take the lanyard out when you put this on there. So, and like you can't just you know slide it in. It's like loose. You gotta make sure you lock it in place. That's another downside. All right, that's it for this video. Make sure y'all like for sure. Make sure y'all like. Make that video go up. Uh, yes, sir. Else? Comment, subscribe. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Y'all leave me some comments down below what y'all think about this video, what y'all think about this gun. Y'all let me know something. We out.